You may have noticed, dare I say, spring has sprung, and this nice weather has a lot of people spending more time outdoors. But if you like to hang out by the water and maybe even try and catch a few fish, you may run into some trouble. Tamara Lopez got an update from state officials about why they're having to destroy tens of thousands of fish. Tamara, I mean, we haven't seen anything like this for at least 15 years. Tessa, that's right, and we're talking about an outbreak of whirling disease among the Game and Fish Department's stocking fish. This last happened in 2007, and it's happening again right now. Oh, it's great, man. You get a lot of friendly people here that they like to talk and enjoy fishing. Ray Flores loves fishing at Tingley Beach. He says last week he caught a 20-inch trout here. And then they stock it all the time. They've been stocking it like, like maybe once a week. So there is a lot of trout in there. But soon he and other anglers may not be getting those big catches as often anymore. The New Mexico Game and Fish Department just announced whirling disease was found in small levels at the Rock Lake State Fish Hatchery in Santa Rosa. Yeah, it's kind of sad because I like to go up to the rivers too. And they say, you know, it's going to hurt some of the stocking, like Red River and stuff like that. New Mexico Game and Fish says because of the outbreak, it plans to euthanize about 70,000 trout to help stop the spread of the disease, meaning places like Tingley may have less trout for anglers. The Rock Lake Hatchery is the main station for trout in the state, producing about 300,000 trout a year for stocking. Dale Hahoyla caught a big trout Sunday, but says today he didn't have much luck. Uh, well, today's kind of slow, but uh, it's been good all week. So hopefully later on they'll be biting and it'll be all good. But he and Flores said they'll keep fishing despite the coming trout shortage. Uh, that's kind of sad because, you know, it is what it is, but at least uh, we're here and fine, you know what I mean? Game and Fish says whirling disease is not known to infect humans, and it's unclear when the euthanization of all those trout will start. Tessa? Oh, well, well, hopefully it doesn't go anywhere else. Okay, Tamara, thanks so much.